Believe it or not, we're still in the really early days of electric vehicles, and there are still so many barriers to adoption, but there's a lot of interesting innovations on the way that could be game changers. Here are four that recently caught my attention. One cool innovation on the way is bi-directional home charging. What this means is that you can charge your EV overnight in the off-peak hours when it's cheaper, and then during the day when electricity is more expensive, you can use your EV to power your home so you'll have more control over your home's electricity costs. This will also come in really handy during a blackout. And you will need to install specialized equipment to do this, but I think this is going to be a lot more common, and when it finally becomes more mainstream, it will be a game changer. Today, every single EV ships from the factory with an onboard level one charger. You can plug this charger into any old wall socket and it'll charge your battery, but they are incredibly slow. I'm talking like 50 hours to get from zero to 100%. Most people today use a level two charger to charge their EVs, which will do the trick overnight. That usually requires that you install specialized equipment in your garage or on your driveway, but what's becoming more common is that a lot more EVs are going to start shipping with level two chargers on board, so you can access those faster speeds without having to install a specialized charger in your garage. You'll still need access to a 240 volt plug, but once it arrives here and becomes more mainstream, I think this will help a lot more people get into EVs. Right now, every EV is powered by lithium ion batteries, but when solid state batteries become more mainstream, that'll be a huge game changer because they address a lot of the problems we have with current EVs. Solid state batteries are lighter, they're more compact, they're more energy dense, and they're less volatile to wild swings in temperature. And they charge faster, which addresses a lot of those issues we have with EVs today. Realistically, solid state batteries are still a while away from becoming mainstream, but there's a lot of research and development happening right now. Nissan says that they're gonna come out with solid state batteries in 2025, which is a bit ambitious, but when they finally get here, I'm so excited because I think a lot more people will be able to get into EVs this way. Your phone and your toothbrush already use wireless charging, so it's only a matter of time until your car can do it too. So BMW and Volvo have both been working on pilot projects where the idea is basically there's a charging pad on the floor, you drive over it, and the battery will charge inductively. And right now what's exciting is that they say they're capable of reaching a speed that's between level two and three, which is pretty fast. And it'll work in Canada too, because Volvo has done a pilot project in Sweden and it gets cold and it snows there. So if it works in Sweden, it'll work in Canada. I like this because it makes things slightly more convenient, which is always a good thing.